I think um, the prosecution is doing a, a really solid job and, and using the video in a way that engages the jury. We saw you standing there with your hands on your head for a while, correct? Correct. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, uh, disbelief. Thank you. Okay. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. The prosecutors are leading the witnesses through the video and allowing them to testify as to what happened, what they saw. And I think that has a great uh, and strong impact on the jury because they can sort of place themselves there. I feel helpless. I don't have a mama either. I understand him. It's just um, uncalled for. I just want to point out how unusual it is for police officers to be testifying against each other. Usually the officers band together and there's kind of you know, a blue wall of silence. That has really been a different situation here. That in no way, shape or form is anything that um, uh, is by policy, is not part of our training and it is certainly not part of our ethics or our values. After re reviewing all of the facts and evidence of the case, uh, I can state with a high degree of medical certainty that George Floyd did not die from a primary cardiac event and he did not die from a drug overdose. Yes, a healthy person subjected to what Mr. Floyd was subjected to would have died as a result of what he was subjected to. And in terms of manner of death, you found then, and do you stand by today, that the manner of death for Mr. Floyd was, as you would call it, homicide? Yes, I would still classify it as a homicide today. George, he would always be up on our mom. He was a big mama's boy. Floyd has this great, deep, southern voice, raspy. <laughs> He's like, sis. You okay, sis? I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified and was acting with objective reasonableness following Minneapolis Police Department policy and current standards of law enforcement and his interactions with Mr. Floyd. How would you classify the manner of death? So this is one of those cases where you have so many conflicting um, different manners and you put all of those together, it's very difficult to say which of those is the most accurate. So I would fall back to undetermined. Did you record what his blood pressure was at that time? Yes, it was 216 over 160. Had a history of hypertension and had not been taking his medication. The, there was a crowd, and uh, I guess the crowd was becoming more loud and aggressive. A lot of yelling across the street. Did that cause you any concern? Uh, concern for the officer safety, yes. Uh, I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. All right, does anyone uh, promise anything or threaten you in any way to keep you from testifying? No promises or threats, Your Honor. <laughs>